All right, Gamecock fans. I'm sure maybe you guys have heard by now or seen around. Looks like South Carolina has hired longtime assistant offensive coach James Cooley, who was offensive coordinator at a few different stops. Uh, was on staff at Florida State, uh, Miami Hurricanes, at Georgia in 1819 and has spent the last three years on the staff at texas a&m hired into south carolina uh, when i first heard the news i'm like well maybe he's going to be an offensive uh analyst why are they bringing him in because we haven't other than a running back coach we haven't seen any staff changes on offense so just trying to figure out what his role was going to be yes he has uh, a great history of recruiting um georgia fans kind of don't think he's that great. Uh, talk to one of my buddies, and you all guys know him through YouTube, Slim Shady Canes, who keeps up with the Miami Hurricanes. Uh, told me that he uh, averages, you know, 33, 36, 38 points, offensive coordinator when he was at the Miami Hurricanes. Also, he dabbled in NFL a little bit. Uh, just want to say welcome home, Coach Cooley. In the meantime, right after that, it's posted that Jody Wright is leaving South Carolina presumed to be the next head coach at Murray State. Uh, we love Jody Wright on the staff, was a great, great tight end coach, uh, well liked uh, through the university, never heard a negative thing about Jody Wright, but it looks like Jody Wright's leaving and we will be replacing the tight end coach now. Sounds like that will be James Coley. What other roles can he help South Carolina in? Maybe breaking down tape, looking at some of what the experience that he has at the Power Five level, working on offensive staffs. Uh, I'm sure he's going to have a lot of input into uh, uh, some some things he sees. Uh, when you do uh, tape reviews and you watch what the players can do, um, having someone with experience on the staff never hurts. Um, but just wanted to say welcome, new coach Coley. Uh, I'm, I don't know whether they call him Cooley or Coley. But anyway, welcome, new coach. Uh, Jody Wright, we wish you the best uh, at Murray State. Uh, we'll be pulling for you at Murray State there. Uh, Mr. Wright, Coach Wright. Um, will there be more staff changes for Shane Beamer? Uh, are there mo more coaches heading somewhere else? We don't know. I guess we'll see. This is a day-to-day -day thing because this is kind of something that popped up on me that I haven't even seen out there or rumored. Uh, so I guess Shane Beamer doing the Shane Beamer behind closed doors, uh, kind of quiet thing. I'm sure there's more insiders that knew some stuff was happening that just really hadn't said anything about it. But as of right now, that's kind of what we've seen. Uh, as far as any coaching changes, still the question about the running back coach. But anyway, just wanted to say that's kind of some updates that I just got a hold of and uh, sent out a few messages to some people that are fans of the teams that uh, James Coley worked at uh, just to get their thoughts and opinions on how he was as a coach at those universities. I like fan opinions. I'm not much on this, this insider stuff. And if I'm gonna ask anyone about the Miami Hurricanes, I'm going to my boy Slim. Slim keeps up with it. Uh, probably one of the best uh, Miami guys out there as far as feeding it to you right. Like, he don't, he, don't, he don't kiss no ass. He's gonna tell you when they screw up and he's gonna tell you when they do good. But, uh, and, and my boy Shipes over there at Georgia, his opinion's a little bit different of James Coley, but you know, that was the Jake Fromm days, and Jake Fromm, we know in 2019, was the best player for South Carolina in uh, the Georgia-South Carolina football game. But anyway, uh, just the breaking news. Wanted to bring it to you here, put a video out about it, talk about it. I'll keep my, uh, my ear out, my nose to the grind. Don't forget, like, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up for me, please. And it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. If you like the Rooster Man, just hit that little subscribe button. Don't cost you nothing. It helps me out tremendously. And also, the notification bell. So when I hear things, I'll try to get it to you. Peace.